Hi, so I'm going to be doing a tag for the Artistic STEM for today and it's for the new challenge that they've got going on, Birds and the Bees, and you should head over to their blog and check it out and join in. As you can see, look, didn't mix up my uh, paints before I started, so just giving that a quick shake now and then I'll put out some more paint. These are fresco finish paints by Paper Art, see they're, they're paints that I really love to play with. I'm just putting some on my mat along with a bit of gesso. And then I'm just going to pick up a little bit of each onto my palette knife and scrape all over this tag. It's a fun and quick way to colour a large area and you get different depths of colour and thicknesses of paint and I just really like it. Yeah. In a minute, I'm going to start drying this tag. Um, I have a bit of a fight with my heat gun, so in the end, I end up stopping, sorting that out, and then coming back. I'm going to do the same thing with this paint, pick it up with my palette knife, but this time I'm only going to go in a few little areas. I'm trying it all off again, but this time it'll be a much quicker process because it's only a little bit of paint. This is one of Jen's stamps from the Artistic Stamper, and this is a polka, doodle, um, a polka dot image. And she's got some lovely background stamps over there, and I'm just stamping it with some Distress Ink. I don't like to get a full print of the image, so I try not to press all over the back of the stamp, only stamping in certain areas. And then I'm going to use another one of her background stamps, and this is the honeycomb one. This time I'm going to paint um, use paint to stamp it. When I'm stamping with paint, I really like to spread it out and get a nice thin layer. And I find that I tend to get the, the best prints when I'm stamping this way. And again, I'm trying not to get a, a full complete block, so I'm kind of curling up the end of the stamp. This time when I'm picking the paint up on the knife, I just want to get it on the edges of the tag. I'm trying to be careful not to spread it around everywhere. Just stayed some chipboard from um, Infinity Engraving. It's a honeycomb pattern to match the background stamp that I used. And I'm just cutting the rough shape out here because I'm going to paint it in a minute.
me lots of faff in about I'm just trying to decide whether I like where it's going to sit whether I like the shape that I've cut out Just going to use a paintbrush now and gesso with the paint is something I do a lot. And I'm just going to add both to this piece now. I apologise for the camera shaking. I'm really trying to think of ways to get that to stop happening. But so far, no luck. Every time I touch the table, the whole thing shakes. If you have any ideas on how I can stop that happening, drop me a comment below and let me know. Once I've dried this piece, I decide it needs another layer, so I'll then coat it again. Just adding some extra white in some areas there because it's just starting to look a bit flat and uniform in colour. Here I'm going to add some glue and stick it down and then try to um, or not try to, I cut off the excess pieces that I don't need. Unfortunately, it doesn't stick properly this time. I haven't got enough glue, so you will see me do it again later on. Yeah, lots of fiddling and faffing about again, because I do like to make sure that I place things so that it's not going to drive me mad later. There you go, almost done, almost got all those little bits of the edges. And then that's just some scraps of card that I've got laying about from other projects. And I'm just going to stamp out the bees from the honeycomb set that I used earlier. I'm just doing this with an archival ink.
this way once they're dry I won't get any bleeding when I, or, or smudging when I add other colours and things on top. I don't think I use these smaller bees at the end. I think they end up on a different project. I think I stamp out another one of the larger bees and use that in the final project. And then I'm just giving them a blast with that heat tool to just to make sure all the ink is completely dried. And then I'm just going to add a very thin layer of the yellow to the bumblebees. Put way too much paint on the mat there, but never mind. And this is just um, a glitter pen. I'm just adding some to the wings. And now I sat and cut them all, all out and I've put together some flowers just from bits in my stash. Um, I had some very nice brads and some things that have been cut out from other projects. As you can see, I haven't used the small bees. I, I've add stamped and painted another of the large bees. And now I'm just going to stick it all together. I'm using much, much more glue on this chipboard piece now. really enjoyed doing this piece, I must say. I loved being able to use up scraps of things that I had sitting around that I tend to not go back and use. So it was really fun to be able to look through and go, you know, aha, I can use this in this project. don't see it here but I paint the back of my tags with a flat back on like a, a paint pen just because I'm generally very messy and the backs of the tags tend up tend, tend to end up looking very tatty. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you will pop on to the blog and the Facebook group for the Artistic Stamper. It's a fun challenge to join in. I will add the links below. And thank you very much for spending this time with me.